Hi everyone and welcome to this short XPath tutorial. In this one I would like to show you how we can navigate from a child element to its parent element and then in the next step how to navigate from the child element to its preceding and to its following sibling. Why this video actually? So every time at least I do this if I write my XPath expressions I start from the parent element and then I traverse down to the child element, right? But there is also a way to do it the other way around. Um, yeah, and either start from the child element, go up to the parent element, or from one child element to its preceding and following siblings. So this is actually the idea behind it. And for this example, I've chosen this website here. This is a very good learning website. If you want to learn your skills regarding Selenium, and so on and I would say let's just start and um, let's choose a um, child element and then traverse up or go up to the parent element okay so I start here with the price right click and inspect and now let's say this is here our starting point okay I make a double click on the value copy that now control and F and now let's build our XPath expression for this element here, okay? That means slash slash p at class equals to the value I've copied. Now this is our starting element. And now this here, this div is our parent element. And let's see how we can get access to this. So actually I proceed with a slash. Now parent colon colon div okay div but now we have a lot of um, results i want to get access to the first div okay so it's div number one and voila we were able to navigate from this child element to this parent element okay and here why do we have to write down the div this is actually the tag element of the parent and since here this parent element has the div tag, we have to provide it here. Okay, and this one, index one, refers that we want to have the first parent element. That's it. So this was the first example. Now let's take a look how to um, work with the siblings. Let's say, for example, um, so in this page we have 20 uh, different books okay 20 results so each line has four results we have in total one two three four and five uh, different lines or rows and five times four is 20 let's say we want to start from the third result right click inspect okay and here so it's that one what i want to do right now is I'm navigating to the third list element. Again, li stands for list. Now double click on the value. And now let's build our XPath expression. So this is li tag class attribute and this value, control F, okay. Li at class is equals to the value. Close the bracket and you see we have 20 results. Since I want to highlight the third result, I open a, a bracket, put index three, close the bracket, and now we were able to address just result number three. We have one of one. This is the unique element and this is good. And now let's see how to get to the preceding siblings. Okay, so you see we have two preceding siblings. That means in this example, I use a slash and then preceding hyphen sibling and now colon colon and now what I need to do is I need to mention the tag of the preceding sibling and this is an li and you see here we have two results y2 it's quite simple since we started with the um, result number three and we want to choose the preceding sibling that means we just have this two preceding siblings and this is actually why we have two results. If I want to target the first preceding sibling, I put down a one and then this one is highlighted, which makes sense. And now let me just replace number one with number two. 
and the first one is highlighted. Okay, starting point is here. Preceding sibling number one, preceding sibling number two. That's it. Now, if I want to target the following sibling, I can just go back to my results first of all. Okay, here we have 20 results. And now let's say our starting point is result number five. So I put down an index five inside this bracket. Okay, now we have um, highlighted result number five. And underneath we have 15 uh, following siblings. What we have to do now is slash following hyphen sibling colon colon then the siblings tag it's li and you see here voila we have 15 results which makes sense okay so and let's say we want to choose the first following sibling then i will work with number one and if we want to um, have the next one it's number two then number three and so on and so forth but again in total we have 15 um, following siblings starting from number five of the result so this was actually the all this concept for this video this should be a little bit short again we can also um, target the x path by starting from a child element going up to the parent element but also going to the preceding and the following sibling so this was actually everything for this video thank you very much and i see you in the next one bye bye